According to Gallup, journalists are one of the least trusted professions, right behind members of Congress and car salespeople. And today, we have yet another reason why people despise journalists. So let's check out this tweet from Kira, who says IGN, the gaming news website who has been involved in several controversies, including sexual harassment allegations and consumer criticism, just deleted their tweet about Kai Sinat. Now for those that don't know, Kira's basically memeing on IGN here by pointing out those controversies. He's doing to IGN what IGN just did to Kai. Here's the context, because IGN is getting a ton of backlash for this right now, specifically for an article they made and the associated tweet for that article, which reads, Kai Sinat, the popular Twitch streamer who once incited a riot in New York with a giveaway event, has officially finished Elden Ring after a more than 160-hour marathon that at one point included throwing his controller out the window. For those that don't understand the issue here, let me tell you a little story. So I'm not that familiar with Kai Snap myself, except knowing that he's a very successful streamer. But the other day I was at the gym, and on the TV at the gym actually popped up the news, and they brought up Kai Sinat, saying that he was cleared of charges of inciting a riot, I believe over a situation that occurred last year. Looking into that further now, yeah, long story short, back in 2023, he held a fan meeting in New York City. So many people showed up, and things got so out of control that charges were being raised against him for allegedly inciting a riot. However, as mentioned, not long ago, the charges were dropped. To my understanding of the situation, one could say at worst, Kai Snap made a foolish mistake by holding this fan meeting, but he never intended for things to get so out of control, and certainly didn't intend on it becoming a riot or anything like that. He also owned up to the mistake, apologizing and paying around 55k in restitution, while also condemning the people who showed up at the event and made things worse. And so yesterday, IGN has that genius idea to tweet about Kai Sinat saying that he did incite a riot in New York with a giveaway event. Considering that those charges were dropped, I think some lawyers could argue that this was IGN spreading libel. IGN got so much backlash for this that they eventually deleted the post. But some claim that the tweet was up there for nearly 24 hours before it was deleted. And 30 minutes ago, Kai Sinat issued his official response to IGN. Getting a response from this Mac guy who says this is the one who wrote it. Showing Cat Bailey of IGN, who to no one's surprise has apparently since gone into protected mode. And hiding in protected mode is such a terrible look here. Like Kai Sinat owned up to his mistake in New York. Why don't journalists ever own up to their mistakes? Too often they spread misinformation and then play victim when they get backlash for it. Or perhaps IGN isn't apologizing because they didn't make a mistake. Maybe they fully intended on trying to damage Kai with the framing of that article. Let me know what you think in the comments. Finally, with Kat including the pride flag, acting in such a reckless manner only harms the LGBT community. Some people are very quick to rep that flag when it's convenient for them, but they do nothing to actually help that community, and instead actively make things worse for it. For the sake of being fair, I'll add one more thing. The current IGN article doesn't include the riot part in the headlines, so perhaps Kat never said that, and someone else made the tweet on the IGN account and added that text. However, things look worse for Kat when you see how she apparently edited the article on May 18th, meaning it's likely that she removed the riot section after the backlash, but again never apologized, and instead is hiding in protected mode. Of course, anyone who saw the article before that edit would be able to confirm or deny if it did indeed include the riot claims as well. So, once again, let me know what you think about the situation in the comments. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this coverage. And if you did, consider liking and or subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your weekend.